limits or restrictions in the area. For months, health leaders have had the same like message. Know. Use a face covering, keep your distance, and wash your hands often. But when it comes to planning a school year, that's easier said than done. Right now we're planning on running the buses, uh, but just socially distancing on a bus cannot be guaranteed. Jefferson County Director of Schools Dr. Shane Johnson said transportation safety is something they're looking at. Well, our buses are generally full. If we followed the six foot apart guidance, uh, it would be about 18 students. East Tennessee schools have struggled with bus driver shortages for years and this fall is no exception. With that shortage, there's no way financially or even uh, with what we're, our resources we have in buses or drivers that we could send three buses. Mask requirements are tricky too. In an elementary school, it's, to keep a seven-year-old in a mask all day could be pretty tough. But almost everywhere else, expect changes. The plan right now is we're taking everybody's temperature. Anybody that's above 100.4 is going to be referred to the nurse's office immediately. Teachers might switch classes instead of students. Perhaps the kids don't rotate classes as much as we have, may have a teacher that rotates the classes that limits its exposure. And not everyone will eat in the cafeteria. We may have some classes return to their classroom to eat. High schoolers might eat even have a hybrid option. Well, they may have three classes at the high school at home, but they're also enrolled in uh, welding. Grace King, WBIR 10 News.